So this is a quick video showing the progress I'm making on this skeleton clock. If you remember, this is one where I went through and made all the calculations. Uh, I took the idea from a clock that I found on the web, but I need to figure out the train. So I did all these calculations, but I was kind of worried. Uh, would it work? Would it keep time? Did I do things right? And what I forgot is I've got, as you can see, the train working. I've got everything in place, and that blue tape I used as a uh, minute hand. I didn't bother installing the motion works I've made. But everything looks to be working well. Um, the trick that was worrying me on this is that escape wheel, it's actually every two minutes it goes across. Um, so it's not a second, it's basically registering a half second. So I was worried that I made some calculation errors. Uh, but looks good, everything seems to be working well. You can see the motion on these clocks, uh, it's very nice. The pallets I've got in there are just aluminum. A lot of these parts have a lot of finishing work to do, but I wanted to, before putting too much time in, make sure that it was keeping time. Here you can see the way these grasshopper escapements work. Basically one releases the other. Uh, the one on the left, I've got a little bit of drag. I don't have these springs. You can see I just put some simple springs together. Uh, to get the thing working. I've got everything in CAD. I've been keeping the CAD up to date as I find mistakes, and I've got a few, don't worry, um, that I've got to fix. But as I fix them, I've got this CAD model uh, accurately representing uh, what I'm building. So in the end, I might post this. If anyone's interested, uh, write a comment. Uh, I might post this on GrabCAD, not sure. Uh, but it seems to be come together. That's gonna be the color scheme I'm gonna use when I finish this. And it's, it's a fun build. Hope everyone's enjoying it. If so, please subscribe.